So, probably the last video for today. I've already done two already. Came just got back from uh, Cooperstown. Um, we are over here at the USS Slater. Uh, it is the last remaining de destroyer escort um, in the United States right now. I'm really excited about going here. Uh, it's my first time being on a ship since the USS Missouri, so it'll be kind of cool. I'm not sure what to expect, but if you are new here, hello, hi, and welcome. We are Echo Travel Adventures. We are a travel channel that we try to go throughout the United States. We're based out of Nebraska, but right now we're in New York. Uh, Amber's not with me. She's over at home. I'm over here for work. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification. Don't forget to like and comment, and thanks for stopping by and checking out our channel. All right, so we just got finished. So um, I wanted to correct myself. Um, I guess there are six destroyer escort ships. Um, this is only one that is outfitted as World War II. Um, I want to apologize as well. Um, there wasn't a lot of opportunity for me to speak in this video. Um, you are with the tour guide. I didn't film him at all, um, just because there's a lot of other people and. Um, he wasn't really up to um, being recorded. But I did get a lot of the other B-roll and stuff like that. So the USS Slayer is really cool. It cost me $10. You are given a tour. Uh, you can't go and roam it by yourself. You are part of a tour. Um, and they take you around the ship. They tell you information about the ship. Um, there was one cool thing that I noticed. They have the little blue book. Now, if you are a 
U.S. sailor, you know what that blue book is. The blue book is your Navy regulations. It has a lot of the other stuff. This one was like one of the first generation books. And I was like, can I look at it? It's like, no, unfortunately, it's locked. It wasn't locked away, but they don't want like our oils and stuff like that to, to ruin it. But it was really cool to, to see that. Um, reminds me of the good old times. And I actually still think I have my little blue book. Um, but other than that, guys, they actually have uh, volunteers that are working the ship. Um, I ha we have one guy that's kind of like not watching us or whatever, but he kind of stopped by every once in a while and talked with us. Um, he was on another ship that was like a sister ship of this. So it was really cool. He talked about how like everything's almost the same, but not really. But there is just, you know what I mean? But that's just the experience that I love about coming to these ships. Because you get to see people who... Or been, have been on that ship, were stationed on that ship, or have been part of other ships that are like that ship, and they actually come around. And they they um they kind of give you more information. Um, but it was really cool, uh, really cool experience. Like I said, it's ten dollars. Um, I didn't even ask for any discounts. I when it comes to stuff like this, I want to give them the full price of everything, um, just because they don't get that much funding to to maintain the uh, the ship and and other things. But um, if you made it this far, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I know this is probably a shorter video than normal, but this is because of the, all the, the uh, B-roll and stuff like that that we had to do. Um, thank you again. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Don't forget to like and comment. Let me know if you've ever been to one of these ships or a ship. But, guys, thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.